Hey, what's up everybody? So in this video, I want to talk about one thing that is really important. If you have just signed up for Verizon Files service, that is the correct router to get for the Verizon Files service. Now, the router you see here, it's the model number G1100. And uh, there are actually two versions of the G1100. The first generation or the first gen is the one with a Verizon logo that you're going to see uh, somewhere in the center over here. And the G1100 I have is actually the updated version, which basically have a very dark etched Verizon logo, Files logo over here. The So the reason I want to bring this up is because um, regardless of which version you get for your Verizon files, you need to make sure the router is actually loaded with proper Verizon firmware. So I made the mistake of buying a router on eBay and uh, it had a, a Verizon logo in the center. So I thought it was designed for Verizon files network. However, when I received it and I loaded up, I powered up the modem and I went to my files, which you're going to have a logging info somewhere over here. I'm going to, I'm not going to go any close because there are, you know, uh, passwords pertaining to the specific modem over there. So you need to go to myfilesgateway.com when you connect, um, your device or your Wi-Fi to this router. Once you set it up properly, uh, you go to myfiles.com and uh, the Verizon setup page should pop up. However, that router, that router that I received, when I went to that web page, a different service provider popped up and that was Frontier. So um, the Frontier files I think they actually bought some segments of Verizon files in some states, so they were using the exact same firm, exact same hardware. However, they're branded very differently, and uh, their firmware is not compatible with each other. So Verizon and Frontier they don't work together. They don't work with each other's networks. So I had a Verizon router with a Frontier firmware, and when I plugged it into my um, to my optic, uh, you know, a switch box over here. Um, it does connect. However, I cannot use my files uh, app on my phone. And also I cannot use, um, I also did a speed test and with the improper firmware, the speed has been greatly reduced. So on the files, on my genuine files router, I get 300 meg up and 300 meg down on a 200 meg up and down plan. So with that incorrect firmware installed Verizon router that I had, which I bought by mistake, the upload speed was limited to 150 meg and the download speed, actually the upload speed was faster than the download speed. The download speed was limited at like 28 megs MB per second. So obviously if you get the router, the incorrect router for the network, it will work kinda but it's not working fully and it's not fully compatible if you have tv service it's it's just not gonna work because the um they have totally different configurations for the coax cable over there so uh this is just one thing i want to bring up to you guys if you're buying if you just sign up for files and you want to save money by not renting from verizon directly make sure you buy a router with correct firmware so you need to buy a verizon router which had verizon branding either over here on the corner over here or with the verizon logo over here and make sure you ask the seller has the modem being modified to run on frontier network if they said yes it's being modified or you see in the description it's being modified avoid it do not buy that router even though those routers that had frontier firmware runs for probably 20 30 dollars cheaper than verizon firmware um they are not gonna work they just not gonna work and even if it works it works very very crappy like speed is super slow and it's being limited so 
How do you check? You go onto the website once you connect the router and you need also... Um, so there are a couple things you can do. Basically, if you have the router just set up, you need to have a hard wire connection to your computer to hook up the router to check all the settings and make sure all the you know stats is correct. And probably when you have the files installed, the technician is going to come over and he's going to help you set up the initial process for your router. And that's, you know, where you can actually test to see if it's running Verizon Genuine Verizon firmware. And if you cannot test it, uh, obviously, um, I don't think it, there's a possibility that you cannot test it. You can always find out from the seller or find it out yourself. And during the installation, the technician is for sure going to tell you if, you know, this router box is not going to work for your network. That is something to be considered, uh, especially when you are signing up for a brand new Verizon Files service and you don't want to use their rental router. And uh, so be really careful. Uh, another way to make sure that you don't get a incorrect router is buy their newest router, which is the G3100. That router, I think, has amazing um, Wi-Fi speeds. I think it's running Wi-Fi 6, which is the newest standards. Uh, it's running super fast and it, it has much, much better coverage, Wi-Fi coverage, compared to the current generation or the last generation of the routers, which is the G1100. So if you have the money, it's about $300. You get that and then you don't have to worry about, you know, getting a router that um, have the incorrect firmware installed. Um, so that's just my tip. If you guys found this tip helpful, please do hit the like button and subscribe. Otherwise, uh, we'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much and see you next time.